Why 3D Printed Houses Will Change the World What have we gathered about 3D printed houses? In this video, we are going to explain the practical process of 3D printing in architecture. Once you have fairly understood the process, we will tell you why we believe it will change the world. This is no longer an undecided path. People have started buying 3D printed houses. Follow closely. When NASA set up a challenge to change the face of construction technologies and sustainable housing for Mars, they were leading onto something. AI Space Factory took the Habitat Challenge and produced a winning project. That project was a vertical egg-shaped 3D house structure. Marship, as it was called, was made of renewable bioplastic and basalt. These houses were made to last the temperature differences on Mars. This Martian technology was not new. It has been in existence for many years, and it keeps expanding. What do we know about the technology so far? Now, imagine leaving for the weekend and coming back to see a new house next to yours. That will be shocking. While it sounds very far away, it is becoming increasingly popular. Nowadays, printed items are everywhere. There are printed foods, printed clothing, and many more fantastic things we could do with printing. The technology looks pretty feasible and has been scaled over the years. Hideo Kodama, a Japanese lawyer, was the first person who introduced 3D printing in the 80s. The rapid prototyping technology he developed is the backbone of today's 3D printing. What we have now as 3D printing is from Charles Holt's Stereolithography SLA. The way SLA works cannot be explained using primary language, but we can try. If we were teaching SLA for dummies, we would say that a UV light it's a liquid acrylic-based photosensitive material that could also be called a photopolymer. The material becomes solid. The process from a liquid state to solid state is known as light curing or photopolymerization. So the 3D printing process, which is popularly called additive manufacturing, creates three-dimension objects layer by layer from the solid material. The process starts from a digital sketch and ends at the object in person. The process changes depending on the raw materials and procedure used. I know this was not as easy as we said it was going to be. While this was the first type of 3D printing technology, two more were developed in the 90s to complement the SLA. The Selective Laser Centering SLS, and Fused Deposition Modeling FDM. These two different technologies are what is currently in use. As the market increased, more designers were using 3D printing for their various items. By 2009, 3D printing had become so widely accepted that DIY 3D printing machines were produced. Now for the housing industry, when did 3D printing become a home affair? DUS architects began researching projects like the Amsterdam Canal Houses that is using bioplastic as raw material. So in 2013, the architecture studio started using 3D to design similar houses with the same raw material. The first designed and printed house came to life in that year. It was the FDM technology, and their house was an 8 square meter structure. That house is the first 3D house to ever come to life. By 2014, when the house was still under construction, Winsun, a Chinese company, built 10 houses in a day. The houses were constructed with recycled materials. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects saw the $5,000 houses in China and decided to work on similar technologies that fix themselves. Their new project is trying to see what items could be used for 3D printing to revive themselves, self-repair, grow, and adapt to their surroundings. While this is still in the works, more people are moving into their 3D homes. A French family was the first to acquire a 3D printed home in Europe. In 2017, the first house went on the market. The house had curved walls for humidity and disability assistance. The $176,000 house took 56 hours to print. Now, as there have been many successes, the mass production levels have proven difficult. Yet, Germany has secured a lead into what could become the future of fully certified 3D printed houses. The impact of Germany securing this lead could be tremendous for the housing sector globally. The challenges that 3D printing for houses solves are many. 3D printed building technology has finally become a widespread influence. Perry, a scaffolding and formwork firm in Germany, has made this possible. Their disruptive products and technologies department 
have been working on substitutes for their core materials. That is what caused them to pursue this technology. The single family property is the first 3D printed house in Germany. The two story structure is 160 square meters. Although it is not the first attempted 3D printed house, it is the first to have been certified fully by the National Building Accreditation. The barrier with EU permits and certifications has always been a problem. This feat has paved the way for better complexes of this building technology to be reproduced. Once the government has certified it as a building type, the country can see it as the next architecture phase. Once the building was certified, Perry employees started working on a more extensive family building outside of Ulm. This project will be 380 square meters of space and spread into five apartments on three-story levels. That is not the only project on this wavelength. The majority of their projects take different shapes and forms due to the lessons from this just completed building. The main line is further waste reduction, and the new projects are still experimenting in various ways. Here are the benefits of 3D printed houses. Faster delivery. The fastest any building could come to life. When you hear the number of hours it takes to build tiny playhouses, and then you see a three-bedroom house put up in two days, you know that it is the answer. The fast delivery of printed houses helps people who move on impulse and have deadlines to meet in many capacities. Imagine that you got a promotion in another state, and the weekend before you went, your new house was printed for you. That is the whole idea. It takes the wind out of traditional building timelines. More flexible design. We are not stuck with the same designs that have always been present. The printed houses offer many design options, and owners can design their own houses from scratch. The same rectangular buildings that we traditionally put up are being swapped for more rounder and counterweather designs. The strategy and design is a question of what futuristic ideas you have in mind. Once it can be digitally designed, then it can be printed into a structure for you. How could it be to get your child a dream house in person? The flexible design option is a practical benefit for many people. Lower cost. The 10 Chinese houses were sold for $5,000 each. That is enough reason to call these houses a low-cost option. The house in France cost half the amount for traditionally built houses in the same area. All the cost is shaved off into the time spent to complete the project. Once there are fewer labor days, the cost of labor will be reduced too. The prices of these houses are also low because of the materials used. The recycled materials cost nothing. The price of these houses is a significant selling point for them, and they will become an immediate need in developing countries. Less labor. The labor delivered in this is housing technology is impressive. Nobody will be drilling holes into the house to push electrical wires out of sight. All the work will be done digitally, and the needed areas will be catered for. The work of all the artisans and professionals is going to be reduced. As the Perry team explained, electricians were amazed at saving 12 days off their work in this new house. In an industry where a shortage of labor could become a concern, this is excellent news. Sustainable. The most sustainable houses are those that will be printed in 3D. The materials are recycled, and the technology installed in the houses is sustainable. The technology was founded based on sustainable alternatives to traditional buildings. If you are a firm believer in sustainability, then this technology is yours. No excesses. The materials and projects are made on demand, unlike when materials are created, and then the traditional building engineers purchase them. In this case, 3D printing is only done after the houses are requested, so there are no excesses and waste of materials. This definite cut-to-fit system ensures that only those that are essential and needed will be produced. Now that the certification is settled, the company has to delve into education. All the hands on deck is relatively new to this technology, and they need further education in their specific fields. They have to adapt to the technology and also use it efficiently. The many countries who have been interested in 3D printed houses are taking a note from Perry's books. Dubai, for example, is hoping to 3D print a quarter of their houses by 2030. Imagine you have a land and want to build a house, and all you have to do is select from 200 models in a database and it gets printed for you in hours. Who would be against that? What are your thoughts on 3D printing technology? How soon are you going to pay for the technology once it is accessible in your country? 
Let us know your thoughts on this and the video in our comments.